Hello everyone, in this video, we're gonna give you our top five quarterback free agents this upcoming off season. But before we get into it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. These five players are either guaranteed to get cut and become a free agent or they're available on the trade market. Starting off at number five, we've got Blake Bortles. So I debated on whether to put Blake Bortles or Ryan Tannehill in the number five spot. I decided to go with Bortles just because he's younger, but also because he has more experience in bigger games like the AFC Championship. Bortles is almost a given to get cut by the Jaguars this offseason. At number four, we've got Case Keenum. So the Broncos are looking to trade Case Keenum in the best scenario possible after they acquired Joe Flacco, but it's highly unlikely that any team wants to pick up $18 million for 2019. Keenum is average to above average, and just like Bortles, he should have no trouble finding work because of his experience in big games because he's played in the NFC Championship before. At number three is someone who's often overlooked and forgotten about, and that's Terod Taylor. So the Browns have no intentions of bringing back Terod Taylor as the backup for Baker Mayfield. Taylor is that kind of quarterback that has a good opportunity to be a bridge quarterback, meaning that a team is still looking for the franchise quarterback, but for the next year or two, they're okay with signing a veteran quarterback to be their starter. The number two free agent quarterback on our list is Teddy Bridgewater. With the emergence of Taysom Hill, it's highly unlikely that the Saints are going to retain Bridgewater, the same quarterback that they traded a third round pick for just last year. Bridgewater is only 26, and he still is highly regarded as a player that could become a franchise quarterback if given a fair opportunity to compete for that starting job. The number one quarterback on our list is Nick Foles. The Eagles would love nothing more than to franchise tag Foles and trade him. But whether it's through a trade or through free agency, Foles will still be highly recruited, not only because of his Super Bowl experience, but he still plays at a high level. He completed 72% of his passes last year taking place for the injured Carson Wentz. So Nick Foles tops our list. Congratulations, you made it all the way to the end of this video. You know what you should do if you're not tired of my voice yet? You should hit that T2F logo that just popped up on the screen because what that does, it gets you subscribed to the channel so you stay notified for more videos that we come out with. Go on, click it. For real, click it.